Hello and welcome to the new to Mimeo Connect video series. In this short video, we'll be demonstrating how easy it is to download interactive lessons as a member of the Mimeo Connect online teaching community. After conducting a lesson search, you can download any of the lessons that you found on Mimeo Connect for your classroom. Each Mimeo Connect lesson has its very own lesson page, which provides important information about the lesson, such as a summary, grade level, and its author. Downloading lessons from MimeoConnect.com is simple. First, click on the download button which you'll find below the lesson information on the lesson page. Next, you will be prompted by your computer to click on Save. The Save window will also allow you to save the lesson to a specific location on your computer. Be sure to save the file in a place on your computer where you can easily find it, such as in your documents, or on your desktop. If you are interested in a lesson but do not wish to download it right away, you can use the Favorites button on the lesson page to save the lessons in your profile favorites. This will allow you to easily access a lesson from another computer or to share a great lesson with a friend. Once the lesson is downloaded to your computer, you can open it by clicking on the file icon or by opening the lesson in your Mimeo Studio software. Once the lesson is open, you can begin using it or customize it using your Mimeo Studio software. For more information on how to use Mimeo Studio software to customize your Mimeo Connect lessons, please visit our training options at Mimeo.com. Now let's go ahead and download a lesson together. Notice that I am on a Mimeo Connect lesson page and this one happens to be titled The Greenhouse Effect. On every lesson page you'll see the lesson's title near the top. Below the title You'll also see a series of screenshots that can help you preview the lesson to ensure that it's something you'd like to use in your classroom. Below our previews, we also have other important information about the lesson, such as our grade level, as well as our subject area, language, the date it was posted, and how many users have viewed the lesson. If you're interested in other lessons that this author has posted, you can always click on their link here at the top of the page and even like this lesson if you'd like to show the user how much you appreciated their work. Now to download this lesson, we're simply going to scroll down the page right below the summary to this download button. Go ahead and click on the download button and as soon as you do that you'll see your computer will prompt you to save the lesson. It'll also ask you where you would like to save the lesson and what you would like to call it. In this case I'm just going to leave it the greenhouse effect. We see that it's an ink file suggesting that we're going to be opening it in our Mimeo Studio Notebook software. Next, click Save. Now Mimeo Connect will upload that file to your computer and you'll be able to access it here in just a moment. One other thing to keep in mind, if you find this lesson maybe at home or on another computer and you'd like to make note of it but not download it, you can always click on the Add to Favorites button. The Add to Favorites button will add this lesson to your profile. Then to retrieve it, all I have to do is go to my profile by clicking View Profile. Underneath my Members Profile, you'll see I have a link for Favorites. There you will find a link back to the lesson you were interested in. That makes it easy to find if you are moving about classrooms or computers, and it also makes it a great way to share it with your friends. Now, to open the lesson that we downloaded, you'll notice that you'll see the file icon on your computer wherever you instructed your computer to place it. To open this file, you can simply double click on that icon or open it up directly inside your Mimeo Studio Notebook. And there you see how I was able to open the greenhouse effect now simply by clicking on that icon. Remember, I could also go to my open button and find it on my computer. Now this lesson is ready to use. I can use it with my students right away or I can customize it using my Mimeo Studio tools and any of my own content. To learn more about customizing lessons and using Mimeo in your classroom, you might want to check out our Mimeo training page available at Mimeo.com. Now try this. Using the steps that we just went over, download an interactive lesson from Mimeo Connect and add some interactive lessons to your favorites. Thank you for watching. Remember there are so many ways to get interactive here on MimeoConnect.com.